This is another quick video on how to use your graphical calculator. This time we're going to be looking at polar graphs. So the first thing we're going to do is go into the graph menu in that normal way. As we can see we've got a graph already stored in there from some work we've been doing previously so I need to delete that otherwise it's going to appear on the polar graph. Very simply press delete. Yes of course I want to delete that. Now we need to change the type of graph so we press the type button here which is a corresponding to F3 click that and we want polar so that's R equals. Now all our variables are going to be entered using this button X theta T it will automatically put a theta in and very simply all we do is we type in the equation that we want so sine theta store that draw and there's our graph. Now as we can see it's appeared very small there of course this just means that our view window is set up wrongly so I can either go into the view window and set what I want it to be or what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to zoom and go auto. This will then rescale so it's showing the graph. I know this graph should be a circle though and it doesn't appear to be on the screen so what I'm going to do there is I am going to change the zooming so if when I press zoom and come along and press square this is going to give exactly the same scale on the x-axis and the y-axis so pressing that and it makes it into a circle. Of course when we're doing polar graphs we can do some very exciting ones so here is a very complicated expression you may want to follow along with me. This is e to the power of sine theta coming down minus 2 cos 4 theta plus in brackets sine of using the fraction button 1 over 24 oops over 24 open brackets again 2 theta minus 180 because I'm working in degrees pi if you're in radians close that bracket close that bracket close the larger bracket and all of that to the power of 5 and when we draw that one well we can't really see what it is from there but if I zoom out and there we go